Hey guys, Adam Retro Woman's here, and it's another beautiful day of hard off game hunting. Here it is, and there's also a book off in the same building. So yesterday I was pretty lucky. I scored uh, some cheap Super Famicom games. Um, and if you haven't seen that, I posted that on uh, Instagram. So go and check that out, and hopefully we'll be lucky today as well. Alright guys, so the first thing we can see when we enter the store is Bukov. And I was looking around here a little bit already, and it seems like they only have a very limited amount of games, of course, because the hard off is connected to the store here. So it's just uh, some newer type of stuff here. So uh, let's just head to hard off immediately. And here's the way up. On the second floor here we got hard off. And we can already sense some game stuff here going on. Super Mario World Showcase. Promoting some Super Famicom here, that's awesome. And also a Famicom here, boxed for 8,800 yen. And here's a yellowed Super Famicom. Yeah, box is in pretty good condition. But uh, a little too yellowed for my taste. 5,500 yen. So around 50 bucks, still worth it, considering the condition of the box was really good. But here we go, now we're up to hard off. So let's just uh, head to the glass case first of all and see all the expensive games. Here it is. Okay, let's dive into this. There's a lot to see in here. We got World Heroes 2 for the Neo Geo CD, 5500. Maybe not the best fighter that I ever played on Neo Geo, but uh, but it's an alright fighting game for sure. In the back there we got a lot of cool Super Famicom games. Super Street Fighter Alpha 2, Star Wars and the likes. We got some PC Engine, Dragon Saber, 35 bucks. Kyo Kyoko Tiger, great helicopter shooter, same price. And we can see GoldenEye for N64 hanging there. 30 bucks, kind of sought after here because of the game being from uh, Rare and UK. So uh, some more PC Engine games on this side and also more Super Famicom games in the back. Super Metroid there, VG, Gundam Wing Endless Duel, really good game. And we also got Cotton for the Saturn there, 150 bucks in the front. Always a sought after, really good shooter. And here we got Bare Knuckles 1 and 2, otherwise known as Streets of Rage. One of the best beat em up games for uh, Mega Drive for sure. And behind there we got a Neo Geo Mini for uh, 120 bucks, SNK's released mini console. And continuing here we got some PS1 stuff Mega Man X3 for uh, 3000 yen, so around 30 bucks. And oddly enough, there's some dancing games in here apparently. I had no idea that was pricey. But we can see Super Back to the Future there on the side. 52 bucks. It's not every day you see that game. And then we have some PS2 stuff in the back there. But let's continue. For some reason we got Cool Spot down there for 27 bucks. Not sure why. I would say that's uh, a little overpriced. We got the Rockman games here of course. Some uh, Game Boy and PC Engine in the background, and also some Famicom games. And look at that Spider-Man for Super Famicom there. That has to be the most yellow cartridge I've ever seen, and it's still 6,480 yen. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Konami's own controller for Super Famicom, and we got some Game Boy Micros here. 16,000, 12,000 yen. So yeah. They are always pricey. And here's a complete inbox Game Boy Advance SP going for 130 bucks. And uh, there's also a lot of controllers in here. And even some Nintendo DS units in here. So, yeah, that was the glass shelf. Let's continue with some consoles here Sega Saturn, 11,000 yen in box. Most of the boxes here looks uh, like they're in really good shape actually. Got some Famicoms and more Super Famicoms, still yellowed, but here's some uh, better looking ones and they had a lot of Super Famicoms here. That's cool. 
And here's a complete N64, 5500, and even a transparent uh, ice blue is this color, 8800, those are a little bit more rare. And a GameCube there for 6600 yen. Continuing here we got the PC Engine Duo, the ultimate console for your PC Engine habits. Mega Drive, and the Dreamcast, with the special edition box there. And uh, the other special edition box, also pretty cool, very unique, so to say. It's not your average video game box that has a picture of uh, the creator. And taking a look at the other side here, we got the expansion pack for N64, 16 bucks. And uh, now we're coming to some uh, Game Boy games here, a lot of classic games for uh, reasonable prices. Mario games, Final Fantasy, and some Game Boy Color, Warrior Land is always good. If you haven't played Warrior Land on Game Boy, I highly suggest you do. And here is a very special controller for your PS1. What else do we have here? All sorts of random controllers, N64, and the uh, Wii controller. And here we got an adapter for a Mega Drive, a multi-tap for uh, playing four-player games. And above here we got one single Game Boy Color, 20 bucks. Looks like it's in pretty good shape. And the rest of the stuff here is uh, controllers. All sorts of controllers. Going further here. We're getting into some uh, Mega Drive, but also some GameCube. Cool big boxes of uh, Mario Party going for 10 bucks, and uh, Animal uh, Forest there was 12 bucks. But let's check out some Mega Drive games here. Uh, let's pick a good title. If we can find what is this? What does it say? Crew Ball? Not sure what this is actually. Okay, doesn't look too interesting. Uh, the games here were sitting really tight. Am I even able to put it in? Yeah. Uh, we got Samurai Spirits, the most uh, found Neo Geo AES game. But it's good because it's uh, totally one of the best games for uh, Neo Geo AES. Going further here, we got some uh, we got some Game Boy and Famicom boxed of course and here we got Wario Land 2 again going for 10 bucks totally worth it in my opinion and we got the uh, Famicom Wars it's a pretty cool game it uh, later became Advance Wars on uh, the Game Boy stuff in the West but uh, let's keep going here Super Famicom is always nice to look at Pilot Wings complete and uh, as usual, all of the games are uh, in really good condition. Otherwise, they belong in the junk section, you know. So that's awesome. A little swipe here of the game so you can see what's here. Never seen this one. Looks pretty cool. Fire Emblem, and what is this? Not sure. F Zero, of course, is here. Pretty cool box art on that. Eight bucks complete. Not bad at all, actually. And uh, we got some N64 games here. Giving you a swipe of it. Zelda. Yoshi's Story. And as you can see, all of the prices are really good. Basically, any classic N64 title boxed. It's gonna be a really good price. Uh, and here's a really cool game actually that I would highly suggest that maybe not a lot of you have uh, played. It's called Win Back and uh, if you're a fan of Metal Gear Solid on the PS1 you should definitely check this one out. Stealth uh, action game I guess it's called. Yeah and as you can see the price is only 20 bucks for a complete copy. Alright, time to check out the wall of cartridges. 
starting with the Super Famicom and uh, the prices in general looks pretty good actually and uh, let's see here I'll give you a slide of uh, all the games here first so as you know these are the cleaned and tested games you know 660 yen for Super Mario All-Stars there and we got Mega Man games still good prices Mega Man X3 there Gun Hazard is a really good game Chrono Trigger Mega Man X2 and uh, Kirby 3 is uh, really good actually graphics on that is really good for being Super Famicom Mystical Ninja, Super Mario RPG and uh, Mega Man X3 again we got Contra 20 bucks for that one pretty much one of the best games on Super Famicom so uh, definitely worth a pick up if you don't have it and some N64 we got Bomberman 64 Arcade it was only released in Japan there for uh, 20 bucks Snowboard Kids DK64 for 2 bucks yeah and as I said as you can see all of the games are uh, dirt cheap when it comes to N64 so let's get into some uh, Famicom games let's see if we can find some uh, good titles here we got Mega Man 5 for 6 bucks definitely worth it all the Mega Mans are uh, worth owning of course such a uh, classic and uh, timeless games and here we have an interesting game it's uh, Antarctic Adventure 10 bucks you're uh, this penguin running and uh, avoiding obstacles Going further here, we got the Donkey Konga 1 and 2 for 18 bucks. Some uh, third party crap stuff and the Taito Drum games. Pretty cool. And here's a boxed Twin Famicom in the end of everything. That's pretty cool. The box is really nice. Love the 2D elements going on on the box artwork. And then we get into some PS2 here. Maybe nothing super interesting. And uh, right, there was more stuff here actually. One more Twin Famicom, believe it or not. Sega Saturn joystick. We got a nice arcade stick there. Some PC Engine. 50 bucks. Maybe the cheapest good looking PC Engine I've found actually. And here's another one. But the core graphics version, which has a better video output. Uh, pretty good to know if you want to get into uh, this kind of console. And here we got a Super Famicom, pretty good condition, 27 bucks, legit price. And we got a GameCube with the Game Boy Player, 7700 yen. Back there we got an N64, 5500, and here we also got the Panasonic 3DO, 130 bucks. It's not every day you come across these, so uh, that's pretty cool. We also got Dreamcasts, 5500 yen. The turn 4400 but yeah let's head to everyone's favorite place here we go the junk section you can see some consoles already here super famicom consoles too yellowed to be sold i guess really rough shape but these famicoms look better here and a super famicom with controller four bucks that's pretty cool psp here for uh, 10 bucks Looks actually in pretty good shape. Looks like they were gonna sell it regularly first. Could be worth picking up. And we got some uh, DS and uh, Game Boy Player. Five bucks there. Let's see if there is anything more interesting here. Should we check out these blue bins maybe? I guess not. Just some accessories. But let's take a look at the games here. Let's uh, dive right into uh, some Super Famicom. Street Fighter 2, one dollar, a mandatory game to have in your collection. And here we also have Secret of Mana, another classic you should own if you have the system. One dollar for that as well. And uh, Star Fox, 
one of the first 3D games using the Super FX. Another good game, Super Bomberman 3. I already found this for a dollar, but here it is for three dollars. Still a good price. Super Mario Kart, the very first Mario Kart game for a dollar. A little dirty, but does that really matter when it's so cheap? An obvious pickup. And here we got some uh, Game Boy Advance stuff in the next bin. Let's see if we can find some uh, quality titles in here. We got uh, some Japanese game that I don't know what it is. I can spot the Naruto in there. And uh, yeah, a lot of games that I don't know what it is actually here. And the next bin here is uh, Game Boy and Game Boy Color. Let's see if we can find some good stuff in here then. Nothing that I can recognize from my first sight in here. We got uh, Yoshi's Cookie for a dollar. That's uh, fun to play on the go. But yeah, that's about it. Nothing uh, more impressive in there. Let's go back to some more Super Famicom here. And there's one bin for uh, N64 games, so let's take a look at that one. Already cheap games, even cheaper probably. Pokemon Stadium, the second version with gold and silver. It's pretty nice. A dollar of course. Yoshi's Story with a broken label, short game for a low price. And here's a better looking one. And we have one bin left with some uh, Famicom games. Clue Clue Land for a dollar. Classic game. Why not? So let's take a look at some controllers. We got the N64 here. 
mostly I guess, yeah, and one Wii controller for some reason. Three bucks each. And here we get some Super Famicom controllers. Some in really bad condition and some in uh, better condition I guess. Yeah, that one was pretty bad. Let's see if I can find one that it looks a little new. Maybe this one. This one looks pretty good. So, three bucks. Yeah, feels perfect. And the ones in worse condition looks like they were one dollar each. Well, let's see if we have anything worth looking at here at the top. We got some uh, Xbox 360 and uh, PS3 going for uh, cheap prices. But yeah, that's about it. Uh, but the junk section doesn't stop here. We have another side here with uh, PS1, PS2, Wii, GameCube. But let's dive into the PS1 here. Let's see if we can pick some good titles out of everything here. But let's take a look at some Sega Saturn first here. We got the uh, Grandia. Heard good stuff about that. Never played actually. Shining Wisdom. We got uh, Virtual Fighter. Virtual Fighter has never been uh, one of my top fighting games actually. I've uh, never really gotten into it. Maybe I should uh, give it another go sometime. But yeah, I guess we're not gonna find any better titles here. And here's the start of PS1. We got Final Fantasy games. One dollar each. NHL 97. Maybe not so much fun today. Let's pick a pile here. Rage Racer. Good memories of that. Rage Racer is fun. And here we got the Gun Bullet. Or uh, Point Blank. As some of you might know it as. Awesome light gun game for uh, PS1. I don't have it and uh, I was actually looking for it. So uh, maybe I should pick that one up. Let's keep going here. We got the uh, Soul Blade. The first Soul Calibur game ever released. It's actually called Soul Blade and it's a pretty good title actually. If you have a PS1, definitely pick that one up. Well, let's go further here, some PS2 titles, maybe nothing uh, special. We got uh, Lost in Blue 2 for the DS, pretty fun game where you're stranded on an island. Uh, that's what about it, no more DS here. Here we got some GameCube games, so uh, GameCube uh, is not that expensive in Japan yet, so there could probably be some good titles here. We got uh, Donkey Konga. Japanese games and here some more PS2 Seaman a very unique game where you talk to a guy fish yeah it sounds weird I know that they're alive too there always a good time especially for a dollar here's a game that looks pretty cool nice artwork let's see if there's any more PS2 here somewhere here we got a cool one, actually. Crimson Tears. Action-packed game. Uh, looks pretty good, actually. Animated and uh, you can get power-ups and stuff. That's a pretty good one. And uh, here's another good one, actually. Gun Survivor Free. Dino Crisis. It's uh, a light gun game for the PS2. Where you can actually walk around and shoot at the same time. So you use the Gun Con 2 with the D-pad on the top of it. Go around shooting some dinosaurs. It's a, it's a good time. And the last game here is an anime based JRPG, True Blood. But yeah, that's about it for this time. If you made it this far, thank you for watching and uh, remember to comment and like and subscribe so uh, I can keep doing these videos. See you guys the next time and until then, have a good one.